Good evening, knife people, and welcome back to yet another Gear Channel's traditional pocket knife uh, overview thing. Um, today I got something, well, for me it's pretty special, for you in the US it's maybe not. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Hand and Rooster Trapper. It's a very beautiful traditional pocket knife um, from a brand that's more, I, I'm pretty sure that's more uh, popular in the US than it is in Europe or in Germany. Although it is produced in Germany and the company was founded in Germany, in uh, Solingen, Germany. Um, Hen and Rooster was um, the idea of Karl Bertram, uh, a knife maker from Solingen, Germany, who was also a, um, a chicken breeder. That's why he named his cutlery business Hen and Rooster. Um, he founded his, uh, his company in, in, 19, uh, in 1845 um, and perpetuated its business until um, 1975, I guess. It was, of course, it was perpetuated by his family um, until 1975, um, when the brand, including the factory in Solingen, was uh, purchased by A.G. Russell. Um, five years later, for whatever reason, I don't know if... Um, Mr. Russell was responsible for that or not. Um, the business went bankrupt and was liquidated. Some of the machinery was bought by other comp uh, by, by other cutlery businesses, and um, the name uh, and the rights on the name Hand and Rooster were distribu distributed among three uh, people. It was Frost Cutlery um, and. Another gentleman of Star Sales, I guess, and uh, Hugo Schiesen of uh, Robert Klaas Solingen. And that's what probably saved the brand from becoming a, well, Chinese made knife with a traditional name on it, uh, because that's what Frost Cutlery usually does with its brand. Um, because now, and for the past um, 20 years, uh, 30 years, 40 years even, my god. Um, Hen and Rooster branded knives have been produced in Solingen, Germany by Robert Klaas. Um, or Kissing Cranes, um, the, as the logo is probably more familiar to you in the US as Kissing Cranes and Robert Klaas. Um, this particular knife is probably dates back to the 1980s, or at least a time short after the liquidation of the original Bertram Cutlery Factory um, and I'll quickly tell you why. Um, you see here the tank stamp Bertram Cutlery. This must mean it has already been produced by uh, Robert Klaas of Solingen because Bertram originally never used cutlery on its tank stamps. Um, but re the really interesting thing is the, modern, uh, the, the, the model number which I really can't capture right now with the camera, I'm sorry. Um, where it says um, 312 BSB. 300, uh, 312 is just uh, the model number of the, the trapper pattern, or the trapper frame, and BSB is uh, usually meant to indicate blue smooth bone, which this thing is obviously not, because it's deer stag, it's genuine stag. Um, if it was genuine stag, it had to say DS, behind the 312, so it would be 312 DS for deer stack. Um, so I suppose this particular knife, which I purchased off eBay here in Germany, um, comes from a time um, where there was still some confusion going on with, uh, well, with the transformation of Bertram cutlery um, to be produced by Klaas in Solingen. <sighs> Apart from all that confusion and the model number and so on, this is an exceptionally beautiful knife, I can tell you. I just polished it up real quick after I got it, and it's, it's really nicely put together. All the transitions are really nice. Yeah. Here you can feel it on this edge a tiny bit, but all the others are fine. We have nice liners and back springs, tiny bit of gap here, but nothing to be worried about. The, well, would you say the butt of the knife is also pretty neat. Back spring termination is also good. 
However, um, the back springs are a bit rounded, so um, you don't have this beautiful um, vertical cutoff which some other knives have. Um, two blades, as in a regular uh, trapper pattern, usually as, re as regular trapper patterns usually have a California clip and a spay, um, really nicely ground. Although the tips are a bit thick, so the edge bevel. Uh, really widens when it comes to the tips on both blades for a reason I can explain. The plunge grinds are really nice and the sharpening notches as well. Um, by the way here it says rostfrei on the tank stamp which basically means this is a stainless steel knife or a knife with stainless steel blades. Um, as it's made by Klaas in Solingen, I suppose it's 1.4110 German steel, or in other words 440A, the equivalent, um, which is perfectly suited for a traditional pocket knife, I suppose. On the large clip blade you have the marking Hand and Rooster, world's finest cutlery. Well, if it's the world's finest cutlery that's probably arguable, but um, it's, yeah, I agree on uh, so far that it's a pretty, pretty fine piece of cutlery here. The springs are not too stiff. Um, the pulls on both of the blades are probably fives. Um, really light pulls but still secure. I really like that. As opposed to like a a uh, Great Eastern Cutlery number 47 Viper. This one's a 7 or maybe an 8 and it really snaps back with authority. Um, and it also snaps open with authority. I love that. Listen. Oh, I love that. Um, whereas this one is more like <clears throat> delicate and gentleman-like in the snap. But I, I really, I still like it. It's easy to get out and it's easy to close back with one finger, just like this. <clears throat> and for everyday use, it's really, really a well-made knife. You see the the centering is good. Everything's really nicely put together. Well, here I have a tiny bit of where I, I can feel and I can see the pin, but I could easily polish that out with a bit of buffing compound on a Dremel tool. Um, that would be the easiest thing to do. Um, the blades are really sharp, I really like that. <clears throat> but it took me a while to get there because the original grind was a bit lazy, so to say. Since there was no real edge bevel to them, um, they were just quickly drawn over the, over a belt sander a bit too quick. Um, but I'm used to sharpening my knives when I get them because they're too dull for my taste, so that's not that much of a problem. Okay, well, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you real quick. I think in the US these are pretty easy to get, um, but you really have to look out for for the the actual tank stamps. They should have stamped, not etched, um, the Hand and Rooster logo with Solingen under it, so Solingen underneath, and the other side should say Bertram Cutlery or Bertram Germany or uh, Bertram, yeah, Bertram Cutlery or, Bo or Bertram Germany Stainless or Bertram Germany High Carbon, and then the model number. Um, the new ones that are etched, so you have, um, you may have stamped uh, Bertram cutlery, but you'll have etched wise um, the hen and rooster uh, image on the tank stamps of the blades, which indicates that they may be made by Boker here in, uh, Boker, Boker here in Germany. Um, and uh, I can't just judge their quality because I haven't seen one of them uh, in person, but they're said to be uh, a step below uh, the class or the, the kissing crane made knives. Okay, so that's basically it. I hope you liked it. Feel free to comment, subscribe, like, share, and so on. And um, for that, I say see you in the next video. Bye.